How are you spending your Friday nights? Toasting your own marshmallows? Fire pit need rekindling? Come on, join us every Friday night at the fire pit where our conversation really heats up. This is some of them from New Jersey. You're watching Fire Pit Friday. And they're hot. They're hot. <laughs> they're really hot. They're very hot. Okay, okay. Woo! Okay, podcasters. <laughs> this week we're in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Oh my god. Okay, so Frazier. You are so important with the crew, man. I'm so happy to have you here. Behind the scenes, but ah! I'm here in Philadelphia okay. for the first time. And it's a city of brotherly love. Brotherly shove. Oh. But you know what? What? We are here to go get a story, a story that's unbelievable. We're going to get this story. You know who we're going to get the story of? Who are we getting it? John Douglas Rainey. I heard that he made a movie here. Here? In Philadelphia, just like Stallone. He's a writer, director, producer, and actor. One, two, knockout punch. Okay, so it just makes sense that we come to Philadelphia to find him. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Okay, you ready? But not today. Okay, not today. check it out, check it out. We need to get all warmed up. We need to get psyched. We need to get psyched for We're this, gonna baby. Do it. John Douglas Rainey, here we come. We're going to come get you. We're going to go with it. We're going to bring it. Yeah, here. Yeah. Philadelphia! Actor, director, producer? Nope. He's doing it. <laughs> Do you know where John Douglas Rainey is? Have you seen him around? John Douglas Rainey. Hey, He's no. the new Stallone. No? No. Sorry. You're in the Philly. How long have you been in Philly? 15 years. 15 years? Beautiful, isn't it? 15 years? I love Philadelphia. Yes. Oh man, okay, okay. Have you seen John Douglas Rainey? I'm gonna perform too. Okay. You are? <laughs> yeah, so he's like super spectacular, and so we've gotta find him. Dude, he's got a show on Discovery Channel. It takes a thief, breaks in people's houses, and shows them how to protect himself. Awesome. Not like the old takes a thief. No, no, no. no. It's a new version. A new version. New version. The so new version. He's yes. the new Stallone. The yeah. new Stallone? Yeah. One, two, two three, three, four. <laughs> yeah! Four. We're gonna keep on going. No. We're gonna spread out, scour Philadelphia, and look for him. Let's do that. That was cool, huh? It was cool. I got, we're in, okay, we're warmed up. We're in Philly. We're in Philly, and we're ready yeah. to hit the streets and find out exactly where is John Douglas Rainey. Yeah, we gotta find that guy. Okay. So my job is basically so that I gotta hit the streets and I gotta find where John Douglas you're Rainey gonna, you're is. You're gonna go find him. I'm gonna go with you. Could you get another shot? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now. What I'm going to do is for you podcasters, I am going to find John Douglas Rainey. I'm warmed up, ready to rock, and I'm going to bring this incredible story to you. Come on, let's go find him. Do you know where John Douglas Rainey is? You know, I would try South Street. South Street? Yeah. All right, you rock. Thank you so much. Okay. Thanks. Great. Good luck. Miss Rainey, the director, he's here on South Street. I, I have a tip. All right, I'm going to ask everybody on. All right, show. All right, thanks, though. Thanks. Oh. I have no idea. That's okay. I'm going to find him. Don't you worry about it. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you know where John Douglas Rainey is? Uh, John Douglas Rainey. No? You know what, folks? 
I'm not going to give up, but we're running out of time. And I'm getting really tired. It's getting exhausting. I'm here. I'm here and still in Philly. And I cannot find Don Douglas Rainey to save my life. And it's really getting John? John Rainey? Yeah. Do you, do you come here? Come here. Yeah, everybody knows John. Well, I thought so. Okay, I, I'm here in Philly. Where can I find him? Oh, John's not here. He doesn't hang around over here. He's somewhere in Jersey. He's got a place called uh, uh, Sound Station uh, Studio. In Jersey? Yeah. In Jersey. Yeah. yeah, if you're trying to catch up with him, as a matter of fact, uh, I think he's done a uh, session just about uh, in about 30 minutes. So okay. you better hurry up and... Okay. Uh, All right, Jersey. How long does it take to get to Jersey yeah, from about, Philly? About 30 minutes if you drive Well, I've had no time. You know what? You've been a, a blast. Uh, thank you for being on the fire pit. Yeah, sure. <gasps> tip is gonna work out. I swear to you it is. We're here. We're at the music place. This is the tip. Here we go. Alright. Come on, let's do it. Excuse me guys. Hi, how you doing? Um, I'm Cece with Fire Pit Friday. I was wondering if I could have an interview with John Douglas Rainey. He's over here. He's here! He's right there. I know I look different. Like John, 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 we've been looking all over Philly. Now we're in Jersey. I mean, come on now. You Who are, are you? Cece with Cece, yeah, Friday. okay. Hello. Hi, hi. Yeah, I've, I've spoken with you. Uh-huh. Okay, what's up, guys? And here we are at Sound Station Studios. Hold the on. tip was right, I told you. Yeah, hold okay. On. Yeah, how did you know? Um, there was this really great guy who was sitting on a park bench, and we asked him, you know, hey, do you know where John is? Cece, you're very he funny. He knew. <laughs> well, you came all the way out here. Do you want to interview me? Yeah, I do, actually. Well, come on in. I can't believe that you actually found me here because this is uh, the band Some of Them. This is Eric, this is Mike, and this is Will. Hi, guys. This is the band. Hi, guys. <laughs> this is hilarious. Hold on. It's take, it takes a minute to digest all this. Uh, over here is David Von Rahm. <laughs> David Von Rahm is my partner. Cece, he's the one that's helped me produce Free Cairo. And, uh, and I want to introduce Wayne C. Davis. This and is, you're uh, so nice hi. to let me barge in here. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, no problem. No to problem. let you. I know. Like, we had a choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and let's get to know more about all of you. You see about to seize this opportunity, you right? You see? Come on. Seize, right. seize, the, seize opportunity. the opportunity. Seize the opportunity. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. All right. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Come on, fire pitters. Yeah. Let's yeah. walk. It's John Douglas Rainey, and he's nice enough to be at the fire pit, and we're honored to have him at the fire pit. And now, anybody who doesn't know who he is, they're going to get to know him a lot better today. At the Philly loves you, man. I have love for Philly, too. Uh, it was hard to find you, but Philly loves you. It won't be much harder to find me in Philly after we shoot uh, Free Cairo. The, the reason why I have Dave Von Rahm here is, uh, is because we're actually we're doing scout locations in Philadelphia ourselves. Um, because when I was a private detective, mm -hmm. most of my cases were in Philly. Okay. And so I have a, an extensive knowledge of the worst, crappiest, dangerous, wow. most racist areas of Philadelphia, wow. which you never see in any kind of show that mm -hmm. highlights Philly, right? right? And you were a private detective there for a while? Four and a half years. I did Woo! Jersey, too. The script is all based on things that have really happened to me. Uh, the storyline mm. surrounds the fact that I had lost my daughter and uh, uh, through the judicial system that's mm -hmm. supposed to uh, be more balanced and, and do what's right for the kid. But I reveal a little bit more how, how unbalanced it is, mm -hmm. and it doesn't vilify in individuals, but it just shows a very flawed system that is really discussed. Mm -hmm. and, um, mm -hmm. and so that's kind of the highlight of it, and it, it talks about how I went through depression and had to overcome it, and I was kind of even crazy. Mm -hmm. So I was a crazy private eye with my license, and. Uh, just abusing yeah. the law incredibly, and uh, and the cases that you were yes. you were leading me to get to, yes. get to talk about, well, they were pretty bad, and so we have some. It's gonna be some violence going on. In and our this show. is all yeah. in your script, okay? It's in the pod, and you yes. Partner, you partnered up. Yeah, I signed on. I worked with um, with John on a couple other projects, and um, I signed on, dude, because of the uh, subplot. I'm a single dad myself, and mm. <laughs> haven't gone through that whole uh, course. Really? Well, and it's it's very touchy ground too. So mm -hmm. I think that there's a good equality within the script that shows it's not just to show how fathers get screwed over. It, the system is imbalanced mm -hmm. in the favor of women for sure, mm -hmm. but it's more imbalanced in the sense where 
even if you are the better parent, there's mm -hmm. no way for that to come across in the court system, whether mm -hmm. you're, you're whether it's the mother or the father, right. and it's impossible really to bring that stuff to the surface. Yeah. And so the, the system sticks to its old system, yeah. and uh, and we all know everything in life needs to be updated right. and upgraded. And so there's a lot of people in pain, and I think a lot of people will relate to it on both sides of the custody battle. Now, as far as your producing and your directing and your screenwriting, I mean, John, you're like all-inclusive kind of guy and now you're making this happen on your own I mean you've gone th from one level to the next you know I'm, I'm kind of peeling the onion layer a little bit here but you've turned that around to such a huge positive Thank you. Yeah. Well, I, and I definitely can't say, say that I've done it on my own. No, I've you've had got a great I, team. I've got great help. I've got, yeah, I've got great friends and the, you know it's funny a lot of people say it's who you know and I completely disagree. It's who you are when you meet the people that you need to know. And there's always a way that you can carry yourself. There's mm -hmm. always a certain kind of positive energy mm -hmm. that you can always show people that's inside. Even if you don't have the job you want, if you mm -hmm. don't have the money you want, mm -hmm. if you don't have the connections, if you're not at the level of success that you want to be at, there's a way you can carry yourself in a positive manner oh, that wow. draws in the right kind of people. Oh, and then when you hold on to those so people, important. you start to just build You're on top so of experiences. Right. You are so right, John. And now, you going from personally, that was that very hard? Was that hard to go from one step to the next? The hardest thing for me so far with this whole script process was mm -hmm. uh, was taking the painful memories that are at the, the core of, uh, of what my my character, myself, mm -hmm. was going through. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I disappeared. Dave thought I was dead. I think for five <laughs> oh. weeks, I uh, had to really isolate myself and put myself into the entire mindset. Uh, yeah. Now that that's over with, uh, I've already begun the um, the second episode, okay. and uh, it's already easier. So I think I'm over the hump of difficulty and what's going to be most challenging to me. Good. I think now it's all fun, you know, except yeah. for me getting my butt kicked all really? over the place on the on the show. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, I wasn't the toughest private detective in the world. I love, <laughs> I hate private detective shows. They're always cool, and yeah. like they come in and kick people's ass. Yeah. Didn't you happen. didn't do that? No, wow. I, I, you, I you tried. Look, you look like you can handle yourself. Well, he, he I'm good for the hit, you know, it's like I'm like an action, I'm a hit and run guy. <laughs> <laughs> but in my defense, if I'm in an altercation as a private eye, I'm always on somebody else's turf. Mm -hmm. And I'm always going to be the person that's a bad guy because if someone wants to, I don't, I don't do my job in start fights. Mm -hmm. you know, I guess so mm -hmm. usually it's somebody's like, you know, I noticed that guy following around for three days. Let's call my friends and let's go kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Those situations don't work well for me. I try to come out on top, and then, uh, you know. Yeah, well, how's it working with him? Well, I that, mean, now that you're over the hump here, I'm sure well, everything's better. What was it like? Oh, no, he's, he's, he's <laughs> uh, very much centered now. But I was going to say that um, he gets a chance to play the other side a little bit because he's going to be fish out of water again. We're going to Texas to shoot. Um, uh, he's going to play a bad guy, gangster, chasing cowboys. <laughs> yeah, I play nice. an Italian. Now, don't tell anybody yet, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. I'm German, English, Irish. So uh, now the thing is, I play an Italian character, and I, I played like four bad Italian guys in with movies with him that he's well, done. I, he's I, actually the one who really put Shoot of Luck together. Yeah. Uh, it was written by Norman Machera, okay. who was a friend of ours, and Willie Nelson loves it. He just took his daughter uh, Sarah to the ranch. Was it two weekends ago? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, two weeks ago. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Willie's a nice guy. Yeah. So <laughs> can I ask you a little bit about Nin Gun? Sure. Okay. So. I heard there's a little bit of a story why it's called Nin Gun. Yeah. Um, Nin Gun Productions, correct? Uh, uh, right. All right. Nin Gun Films. Nin Gun um, Films. And I've been making films about 30 years, you know, um, off and on. Mm -hmm. And I was going to college, uh, and my professor told me that I was never going to be anybody. He said, you're nobody. <laughs> um, are you watching now? Yeah. Loser. So, <laughs> no, he, uh, it was a tough time in my life. It was actually when I was going through the whole custody thing. Now, Free so. Cairo is going to be produced from Nine Gun Films right. and from OFG Productions. Could you talk about that? Sure, okay. absolutely. Okay, so OFG Productions is something that you've also partnered up with someone else in your yes. life. Yes, I have a uh, partner. He is my best friend. His name is Gurley Jean Felix. Mm -hmm. He's from Haiti. He's French? He's uh, French yeah. Haitian. Yeah. Me know. Right? <laughs> I know. And he's, uh, he's a great guy. He's in New York City right now taking care of a few things. Mm -hmm. Sean and I created OFG Productions because uh, we were working together on It Takes a Thief on Discovery Channel. Okay. He was helping me do some of the more uh, difficult break-ins and which the more elaborate types of jobs that we needed to have uh, somebody with intelligence and skill. And I'm very comfortable with Sean. Yeah. Uh, we were working on putting together a pilot called Sessions in New York. Okay. And uh, in the end, the financing backed out. But mm -hmm. we learned so much. 
much and we mm -hmm. realized let's uh, form our own production company so that we can mm -hmm. pick and choose the kind of people that we want to work with, like us collaborating with, mm -hmm. with Dave's company mm -hmm. and now me um, mm -hmm. working with my band, some of them. Um, and it all ties together. Mm -hmm. And so ultimately, if you can't beat them, become them. You know, don't join See, them. See, that's be where the Stallone reference want. comes in is because you are, he was a pioneer, let's face it. Stallone he was. was a pioneer. I have much respect for Stallone. Okay, all right, me too. I, very much so. For him to have a vision. Yeah. And then, as you say, if and you can't beat them, become you know, them. And become he didn't them. sell that, right? Stallone could have sold his script. Oh, easily. And he'd be, you would have oh, talked yeah. him today on the street, you would have met him on the bench. Oh, you know, yeah. He'd have been, uh, yeah. right, if he would have sold his script. Exactly. So, okay, where's the process in, in the film? Tell, tell the viewers where, what's going as far as your production. Uh, here's where we're at right now. So right now we're, we're uh, getting our investors together okay. and we're in that stage of uh, finalizing the money and the contract stuff. Okay, but so it looks like that some of our investors may be also the ones who are investing in the shoot out of Luck the Willie Nelson movie. Oh, we have, okay, good, good. we got good, some great good, money good. ties and we have some great people out they're even talent wise mm -hmm. and we have a, a woman named Dana Livingston okay. she plays a very important character in the show Free Cairo okay. um, she's also going to be in Playboy uh, she does that shoot in a month or so okay. and she's also just very big on the investment process and Great. she's helped out the the Willie Nelson movie. Oh. I was going to say how amazing it is that you guys came all the way down here. What if I was uh, in Key West? What if, I think I, we would have gone there. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're pretty amazing. I, I want to give Fire Pit a lot of credit. You, you guys are really making me ecstatic. Well, and like you, you caught us at a great time. You know, the weekends are when we can all get together and work on our joint projects. And uh, I want to thank you. Yes. I'm not going to interview all, but I just want to say it's amazing. Oh, thank you. Well, we, we're supporting um, Visionaries. And what I like about you, John, is that you're all around artist, which is really, that means you're a true artist. You know, you've really, you're focused, you've got your things going on, and you're pulling from personal experiences. You're a manager of a band. What's let's, going on with that? Let's, uh, let's talk well. to these guys. Yeah, Dave, Thanks. Dave. Oh, Dave, wait thanks. For me. thanks. All right, so here we are with your band. Yes. Some of them. Uh, how'd you get a name, by the way? We've got all of some of them. Some of them? <laughs> but there's only some of them or all, oh, all of some of them? Well, it's the sum of everything, because it's S-U-M. It's not just S-O-M. It's the sum, kind of like the, the the culmination of everything. Okay. Kind of like, you know, not just us, but everybody in general, this whole, like, population, the whole Earth. Oh. You know, pretty much just everyone just is one. That's kind of like uh. what we thought of when we came up with it. That's pretty smart. Yeah. I like it. I like it. And, and, and that's coming from a bass player, dude. That's deep. <laughs> yeah, same old bass player. The bass, the bass player is yeah, always deep. Is that true? Like, the bass player is it the guy that's like laid back and quiet and kind of low. Exactly. I, just, you know, I kind of hang back. You know, just, yeah. you He's usually got the hood on. No, yeah. Yeah. I've never seen his head yeah. before until today. Did you do some Tony Levin fingers there? A little bit. You know, yeah, a little, little fingers. Fingers. Porn, yeah, little deep from porn, a little, you know, deep stuff, craziness. That's cool. Okay, okay. Yeah. why don't you guys, why don't know. you guys introduce yourself yes. to the podcasters? This is uh, some of them, and yes. we have Eric over here on B. Eric Scheffler, uh, bass, a uh, little bit of guitar, sing. I'm starting to empire. Do you break down? I'm starting with these guys. Uh, oh, come not on, since come the back on. injury. Mike. Shades and Mike. Shades and Mike. What? <laughs> well, there's different shades of Mike. Yeah. You like? Will shades and Mike. Yeah, right now. What? Will shades and Mike. Say hi to the folks out there in the uh, Toyland. Hi, folks in Toyland. <laughs> <laughs> You're the guitar player. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's like, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. He doesn't speak without a guitar. It's like, <laughs> well, he's the no front man on stage, stage, so yeah. he gets all of his you're energy in, out in his playing, face, right? in his talk, in, in his, his performance. I keep calling you Shades. It's not fair. <laughs> Introduce yourself to me. Hi, I'm Will. I wrote most of the songs. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, before shows, I inject him with an adrenaline shot. <laughs> I know, we just hit him with a buzzer. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know, but it's yeah, like there's really a lot of deep, deep places deep. that his yeah. material I'm comes from. I'm not simple. If you take no, him that's there, that's okay. That's all right. Yeah. He's had a long and meaningful life. Not exactly. Long. <laughs> you're going, you're, you're he's going. Had Since he's burying me, I just figured, like, you know, no, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a Viking yeah. funeral though, so we got to put him on a boat and light it on fire with flaming arrows. <laughs> they're going to smoke. They're going to smoke my ass. Why don't we have fire or snort them? The roasting of Will Anthony for real. Um, it's just I don't know. My stuff comes out of like you know. I don't know, just, yeah, he's had a lot, a lot of weird things happen in his life, and that's it's okay. all of his, it, all of his experiences kind of culminate into these songs, mm -hmm. and then, you know, we kind of, kind of combine our thoughts on them, and you know, make them into something good. So when, when you're first starting, when you're first starting your tunes, and you're working them out, you're kind of fleshing them out. Does everybody have a piece of it, or is it something that's just created? Um, 
I, I, I kind of come up with it in the shower and then bring it to Eric and then uh, bring it to Mike. That's his, his Give me a <laughs> the shower is the best place, isn't it? Yes. Okay, everybody says, oh, I fall asleep and I wake up with this epiphany. And I'm no, like, no, that never. never. Happens. But the shower, what the heck is it? I can't even get uh, out of the shower fast enough. The, like, the hot water? I, I want to get know. one of those diver's boards that Are they use on the water. <laughs> um, Virgo Leo on the cusp. All right, so on stage, that's when your lion comes out. That's when I'm comfortable. Yeah, he becomes a madman. Almost yeah. tetanogeny. Ginny. And it's like, <laughs> really? They'd let him shoot flaming arrows, he would. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. He's the wild man. That is great. So it's the three of you. You're the main core. This and when it. you go out on the road, do you have any other session players or, no. or anybody else? Uh, not currently, no. no. I mean, it may happen okay. down the line when we uh, branch out a little more, mm -hmm. but for now, it's just a three piece. All yeah. right, so now we've got this manager. Now, usually the manager gets the bad rap because it's like, oh, the manager. He's constantly telling us what to do, where to go. <laughs> I invented the bad rap. Say something. <laughs> but, uh, so, John, yes. are you like that? Uh, no, I, th I think I'm pretty open. I, I don't even, um, I'm not even exclusive with them so that uh, I want these guys to be successful as they deserve. Mm -hmm. I didn't start off uh, hearing about them and then just come over and say, hey, I want to be you guys' manager. They, they all tell you. I was there hanging out mm -hmm. with them because Will and I have known each other for a couple years. And, um, and so I was just hanging out, listening to them play music. I love not only the, the music that I heard, but it was the passion of their playing. And I was like, you know what, these guys got something. And I know music. I've, I've had friends in the music business for a long time. Um, and so I, you heard something. And you I, like, I heard something gonna... that I knew was great. And simultaneously, um, I'm thinking to myself, I also need music for my soundtrack, Free Cairo. And I've got right. some, right? Oh, it's not all about me. Just, just, just there's a piece of me in everything I do. No, you're very <laughs> but, smart. You're very <laughs> smart. So mm -hmm. I, uh, I'm using two of their songs. Um, one is Immediate Thoughts, and the other is 35 Seconds. 35 Seconds is a hit. Right. And 35 Seconds is going to be the uh, main theme song for my show. Oh, wow. Guys, that's yes, wonderful. That oh, so he's a really good manager. <laughs> I hope so. He's, 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 he's a really makes good happen. manager. Thank that's you. That's great. what I want to be. You exactly. mover and shaker. Okay, so your album's being recorded presently. Right, by Wayne Davis here at the here Sound at Station. Here at the Sound Station. In Berlin. Right. Yeah. right in Berlin, New Jersey. Yep. And uh, Wayne, I don't know if you know this, but he helped produce, engineer the uh, platinum album Benjamin. of Breaking Benjamin. Sweet. So you guys are in good hands. <laughs> but, but Cece, I will say this. The, a lot of joy that we're all getting, mm -hmm. aside from our individual uh, accomplishments, working mm -hmm. together on stuff that we all are enjoying and amongst friends. Mm -hmm. I mean, these guys, didn't, didn't you guys have a uh, band member come over your place the other day and you couldn't believe you guys don't argue? Or, Oh, uh, really? You get along so they well? They asked us if, we, like he said, he says, when you guys practice, do you just fight at practice? And I'm like, no, why? You don't need to fight. <laughs> it's the foreign term. We yeah. have fun. Yeah, you fight after what you become like? big. We have disagreements, like? but there's no real argument. <laughs> you said inspiration. Yeah, yeah. I think we all inspire each other. Mm -hmm. This little group right here, yeah. plus Dave. Mm -hmm. And uh, film and music really are, they yeah. go together like Reese's Pieces. Yeah. Okay. So you've got this great band. Yes. They're hot, they're on your track, they're going to be your theme music, they're the next big thing, okay? Okay. Well, I, I can tell you what's next uh, for these guys, where, whereas people will be able to actually start to see and hear them more. Okay. The next thing is these guys have a huge gig at Dazier's Bar and Grill, which is in Ooh. Hamilton, New Jersey. Uh, the significance of that is Dave Von Rahm, his uh, Nine Gun Films uh, equipment and his crew are going to come down. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shoot the videos for these guys, and we're also going to pitch a reality show through a friend of ours named Paul DelAngelo, mm -hmm. who's a comedian. Like, these guys do, have been doing something different. Okay. Uh, we all came up with the idea, and it was, it was you and I driving to New York that one day. Right. And these guys mm -hmm. ate it up, and it's working out great mm -hmm. uh, to do a comedy rock and roll show. We didn't invent it, obviously, but <laughs> when you have one uh, comedian and just one rock and roll band, that's uh, you got to really be on your A game to yeah. pull that off. Yeah. Now, and OFG Productions and Dave's company are going to be producing their videos. So again, it comes back to me and me oh, trying to get. To, I know, okay. but as manager, I have to take a piece. But you but, should. <laughs> I mean, you should because while well, you're guiding, and you have a good, you have a good hand that you're guiding them with. So that's important. That's why the managers get a bad rap. And I, well, I do. I make no decisions without without they're okay. I may make plans for sure because mm -hmm. if I see an opportunity to get something going mm -hmm. with people outside of the room, mm -hmm. but I come back and make sure that these guys are happy. That they're not happy, yeah. and what's Everything the point? Everything benefits happy. everyone. So yeah. yeah there's no reason to be upset. About there's it. no reason for any. That, you know what's so good about this? There is no reason to be conniving. There is no reason yeah. to step on each other's toes. Yeah. We all want to help each other be successful. Can we talk about the level uh, level of success? 
Now, Ooh. everybody has their Ooh. own, Ooh. you know, personal dreams and yeah, expectations. I want to hear, that's a great answer. I want to hear exactly. theirs. Let's start with mine. I think they shut my cable off this morning. <laughs> Um, I know. Really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, what was that level no, of success I just, again? I just, <laughs> just, just over to my house and watch TV. Oh, okay. Before. Will's level of success is paying the bills. Really? I could care less about the bills. <laughs> so I want to hear this. I, I have never heard anyone ask this question. Go ahead, Mr. Uh, maniac in the back. What's your <laughs> ideal yeah, what's level of success? This is a good question. I, I just want to play, and that's it. I just want to not have to worry about working and just do what I love. Right? I think it's something we all share because I would like, like, for my, my daily job, I paint apartments. And I do that to pay my bills so I can go out and play music, which is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. But I want to, I've said in my bio, I want to start my own empire. I want to create at least my own production company where mm -hmm. if everything goes to crap in a couple of years, then I can help produce other people and help, help my friends and help other people who are talented who can't get their foot in the door. And, you know, I think if I give, maybe it'll come back to me. And the way, you know, John's given to help us, and the way all of us have given, you know, and sacrificed just to help the whole, that, you know, live the dream. That was absolutely beautiful. Thanks. And, you know, I guess I, I could put this on top of all, the cherry on top of that Sunday is this. You, it's hard not to believe that you're headed in a certain direction when you have a circle of friends and people that you're becoming friends with, mm -hmm. and you're all making big steps happen mm -hmm. in your genre yeah. and their music they're taking the biggest steps now recording the first album mm -hmm. uh, and my friend Dave's genre now he's, he's producing with Willie Nelson and yes. Morgan Freeman and, and and in my sense finally be able to get mm -hmm. things I care about in writing come out and it's all happening all right. it's, 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 it's all almost like now. saying right you, you can't believe that there's a, an avalanche coming by and just like at what avalanche bullshit well any minute five four three <laughs> right. two ah! you can't ignore but you know what if we're all there at least we can all dig each other out of that avalanche oh. exactly. alright now I'm going to put you guys on the spot a little bit uh oh it's a good spot oh, I love being on the spot alright shoot okay would you do an acoustic song for the interview would you would you want to? That's well, we don't normally do, but you know, if you twist our arm, I really? think it might be. Able to if, do. if he says it's okay, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna okay, pass manager. around. A, I'm gonna pass around a hat. Yeah. If there's a, a lovable, respectable amount of cash in it, now of course, come on, let's, let's set this up. How John, can we, how can we, how can we, we just went from one. Thing I don't to care the next. about the money. It's I not need about to, the money. But I do right, need to take a little. Here, look at this. This is just a magical little guitar. All right. Well, I call this song. I manage it. Oh. You don't play guitar. <laughs> Do you play? No, I shouldn't say that. Do you play an instrument? Get a shot at the back of that. Yeah, my, but you can't show your. My right parents here. took me to uh, take accordion lessons. <laughs> and then a shot at. And the I, no, I saw that. I gave that up. So you Turn play back snaps and claps. The snaps and claps. Where's my singing? Yeah, this guitar's it's better. There. Uh huh. It's half a race. This is my campfire guitar. Uh, it's a relic. Uh, I love that. This is what it is. It's full of We're history. In the fire pit now. This guitar so went down the Delaware River. Imagine. Absolutely. Imagine fire pit. The fire pit. Can I get a high logo? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Guys look right there. Some of them. And then uh, here we are sitting around the campfire, and we're going to get this nice... Hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> look, you want a flashlight to put under your face? It'd be like the, the oh. ghost story. Yeah, the ghost story. <laughs> and now, from some of them, House of Lies. Silence shattered my faith again. Reckless worries, so called friends, sealed forever in this house of lies. I can't break through, no matter. Tragic lies 
always brings me back to this place can never shroud the size of my mistakes Maybe one day you'll see what is in front of me Empty face with nothing left inside Maybe one day you'll be everything I'll ever need How can I take it? The stream won't make it. This song ends tonight. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Good. good harmonies. That's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, we've come to the end of a wonderful interview with John Douglas Rainey and the some of them, and I just feel like feel really good and I hope you do too so this is our goodbye but before we go John wants to say something I want to say thank you to the fire pit you guys are crazy <laughs> for trying to come track me down we, yeah, I mean that, that was, was a great it. risk so you guys blew my mind fire pit is the best I love what you guys promote you guys are all about supporting the uh, individual artists mm -hmm. the up-and-coming the unknowns you know the, yeah. the masses in the darkness where no one oh, gives yeah. light to yes. you guys are the light keepers yes we'll keep it and um, thank you seriously thank you thank you oh you're awesome now before you guys go uh, what we were doing what Wayne was doing was yeah. he was going over some tracks for La Tortuga and okay. um, and maybe I can't know, wait we'll play that when on your way out and you guys are awesome I can't Thank wait to much. see you in Nashville and um, when you're playing out your myspace where everybody can go to visit you is some, some of them dot com. com okay S U M. do you guys really you answer your emails Format. is it really yeah, you yeah I do you yeah. do yeah shades rules okay <laughs> alright so that's important how to use a computer that's first. important I know how to type with one hand there you go and look for your new um, single coming out or your new album actually coming uh, out in sometime hopefully in, in September okay and go to that website MySpace www.someofthem.com woo alright www.someofthem.com <laughs> Alright, so let's enjoy some of your tunes right now. Are you ready, Mr. Engineer? Alrighty. Again, Cece, thank you. Thank you, John. This is La Tortuga. La Tortuga. <laughs> This is John Douglas Rainey and CC getting crazy down here at the Sound Station Studios with my band, some of them. Keep rocking to the Fire Pit Friday crew. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs>Okay, I'm really hungry. I gotta eat. I gotta eat. I can't stand this anymore. John, where are you? It's driving me crazy. I'm stopping here. Look at this. Check this out. Leonardo's Italian Bakery, man. This is where it's at. Philadelphia. Dude, come on. I'm gonna go get something to eat. Then we'll go look for John. Come on. <laughs> The, uh, the establishing shops because it's all the important stuff that Philly has to offer. So yeah. food, uh, okay, here we are, Angelo's. He's talking to some customers right now, but I'm going to interrupt him because I'm really rude. Mm, Angelo, what are you guys cooking today? How are you doing? How are you doing? All right, we're making some peaches today. and uh, I have been all over Philly and, I, and my nose led me to here. 
Good thing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Good thing we all have those. <laughs> what are you What are you cooking? Uh, I'm making a few pieces right now. And, yeah. Good would you like stuff. to come back in? I would soon? love to see what you've got going on. Here we have some oh. dough and some more uh, fresh uh, products that oh. we use on our pizzas. That looks so good. That's homemade. Yes, this is we do our dough our, uh, each day ourselves. Uh, Yummy. Uh, along with our breads and uh, homemade. All homemade. That's so good. All the old-fashioned way, all by all, hand. All the bread out there, all the pastries, all homemade. All made by hand. I've been looking all over for John Douglas Rainey. I've been all over Philadelphia. Do you know where he may be? <sighs> nah. Nah. Uh, I, I, I can't find him myself. <laughs> All right, I'll but, tell you uh, what, when I find him, I'll call, call you. Call me and let me know where he's at. Is that, that good? That's, that's How long have you been in business here? And in this location, we've been here a year and a half. Um, we moved from Northeast Philly. We were there for 10 years. All right, so you would know. I mean, you're the man about town. You know, you know, you know what's going on. Yeah. Well, and here is where we have our, there's a brick oven, which we cook our pizzas. There we do a lot hey, of work. Preparation, hot, nice. our cooking. Uh, everybody's working. Yeah, everybody's working. Our probably hot. Mmm. Taste when you taste when they're really? hot. Yeah. All right. I'd love they're, the taste. Oh, they just came out. Oh, they are hot. Look at this. Uh, so this is basically mm. where we do cookies and her salads. Mm. Man, I'm like glad like we that. stopped by Angela. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you so, always have you always been in the baking like family or is it something that you you know what I mean your mom and dad uh, family business or you just yeah this started with my uh, father-in-law he came from Italy and uh, decided That's he wanted wonderful. to stay That's wonderful. so we wind up opening a bakery this is great. Uh, but I used to be a mechanic from a mechanic I come to bake all right so you can <laughs> fix the machines when they're broke exactly <laughs> Exactly. So. Thank you so much for right. the tour, and everything is beautiful and delicious. Okay, so I got my pizza, and it's a lot. Check it out. I can't eat it all myself. And someone told me that pretty much everybody in Philly is really, really cool, and I believe it. Because it's like the city of brotherly love. It's like, hey man, give me a hug. It's awesome. You know what? It would be kind of cool if I could just walk up to a house here in Philadelphia and say, Would you like to share my pizza? I think I'm going to do it. Come on, let's go check it out. Alright. It's kind of silly, but I don't care. Come on. Hi! My goodness! How are you? I'm, I'm sharing my pizza with you. Would you like to have some pizza? I told you Philly was awesome! All right, I here like we go. Yes. yes. I'm nice. You do like pizza? Sure. Ooh. Can I come in and have some pizza? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Come in, come everybody, on. come in. Come on. City of brotherly love. I love it. Oh, oh come thank come you. In. Okay, come I'm going to come in. Nice, your pizza. <laughs> let me see, let me see.